this is Patty. Today we're going to talk about, I think, a phenomena in the um, wig business. We've had top crowns, we've had mono pieces. Many, many years ago we had these toppers that were real thick and bulky and you could even pull your hair out of them. They were a mess and very hard to work with. Now all of a sudden we've refined it to a mono part. This is Easy Part by John Renault. The base is a mono top, you can see through it. The base is five and three fourths by, I think it's two and a fourth. There are four toupee clips all the way around. Here's the great thing about this versatile piece. You can add to the thinning of the top of the hair. You can change the color on the very top of your head. Uh, you can put it crosswise, you can put it vertically, horizontally, wherever you want. That's the great thing about it. This is human hair. Your easy parts come in human hair and heat defiant. They come in 12 inches and they come in 18. This is your 12. It looks longer than that, but that's what it is, 12. Now, if you want to fill in your part area on the crown, you just go straight back and you clip in, just like all the others, clip in all the way around, and now you have a part that fills in your hair. I'm doing it on the dark so you can see how with the right color or the color that matches. Now, this is a good thing to show you. See this bend here? We call that box hair. And sometimes when you buy a wig and it'll be shipped from the manufacturer and no one has uh, looked at it at the shop or so forth and, they, and they're not doing anything to it like customizing and they just send it. If you get it and it's bent like that, that's just caused by the box. All you have to do is wet this and it'll be just fine. It'll go back right back to a little bit of wavy human hair and use your hair dryer and, and your brush and just blow it dry and it'll go right into your hair. That will also work for your heat defiant as well as your human hair. So I'll turn it around for you and see how beautifully it blends. You can put it in the center part it right down the middle. You can put it across ways even. I'm going to show you real quickly because I want you just to think outside the box. Now when you do all the, uh, the toupee clips and you've opened them, roll it back and then, here let me open them, it won't pull your hair. Gently roll it back and it comes right out, see? But Say you don't want to go like that and make a part. Maybe you want to do it like this. So, you might want to put it on the side here and have a side part or pull it like that. Be open to what you can do with it. There are all kinds of things you can do. You can put it way over here on the side like this if you're going to do an updo and you want some volume. See, put it on the side and you want some volume, take your own hair, put it over here on the side, put the easy part in. Okay, now I want you to go ahead and braid it, twist it. You've got the colors blending or mixing and you're pulling it to the side. Now all of a sudden, instead of just a little bitty old skinny thing hanging here, you've got the volume. And all you did was buy a little easy part. Don't get stuck into using it just in your part, babe. It'll go everywhere, anywhere. It'll go out on Saturday night, too. <laughs> Have a great weekend. Bye.